prior to joining your program, I didn't have a reliable way of acquiring clients. On a good month, I might make 5K, right? But it wasn't like 5K every month. It was like 2K, nothing for four months, 5K, nothing for six months. So it was like, I wasn't really making money in this business. The biggest things, I will say one of the biggest levers that, that we did uh, as soon as we joined the program uh, was the offer. And that was a game changer, right? Because I went from selling a course for $1,000 to all of a sudden turn it into a high ticket offer. So I launched it to my Instagram and in one day I made $8,000 collected. <laughs> and so, yeah, in less than two weeks in your program, I made more money than I had made in an entire month ever in this business. Albert, thanks so much for joining us, my man. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on here. So for people that are tuning in, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, who you are and what your business is, uh, who you guys serve and uh, your rough revenue levels. Hey, Ravi, thanks so much for having me. Uh, happy to be here. Yeah, so my name is Helbert Ruiz. I'm the owner of the Day Traders Blueprint, and we help busy professionals get started day trading and do it profitably in less than an hour a day. So we pretty much just walk them by the hand, showing everything that they need to do to make money in the stock market, all while having a full-time career. Awesome. And uh, where did you originally find us? Uh, you know, did you was it an ad? Was it YouTube? Was it Instagram? Like, how did you originally find our company? Great question. I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> but I think it was on YouTube. I've been following your content for years now. And uh, it's funny, I was actually watching your videos before I even had a coaching business. So I knew that eventually <laughs> I wanted to go in that direction. And it's funny because I had a note on my phone that said, work with scaling with systems. And this was like a year, a year and a half before I even had a coaching business. So, uh, wow. you know, once I launched my course, that you know and i didn't know what i was doing i reached out to you guys and uh that's how i joined yeah oh, i love that man that's so uh that's crazy i i love the affirmations too that's that's pretty incredible and i'm grateful that uh that we're part of that that, that means a lot to us um awesome. so i kind of want to talk here in a moment about some of the wins that you've had so we have a ring the bell channel uh inside of our company and we ask all of our clients hey um you know share your wins with us so we can share it with everybody else and I mean, it's, it could be called the Helbert channel because it's just like every second, it's just like ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. I mean, it's like win after win after win after win. But um, why don't you kind of, before we dive into some of those biggest wins and some of the things that we did together so people can get some, maybe some value out of this. Well, why don't you talk to us a little bit about like, what were the main bottlenecks you were experiencing when you first came to us? Like when you're like, okay, I want to work with scaling systems. What was the thing that you're struggling with that you wanted to kind of solve? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing for me it was, I didn't have a reliable way of acquiring clients. So just to just to give you a perspective here, prior to joining your program, you know, on a good month, I might make 5K, right? But it wasn't like 5K every month. It was like 2K, nothing for four months, 5K, nothing for six months. So it was like, I wasn't really making money in this business. And so the biggest things, I will say one of the biggest levers that, that we did uh, as soon as we joined the program uh, was the offer. So I know with you guys, we have like the offer refinement and that was a game changer, right? Because I went from selling a course for a thousand dollars to all of a sudden turning it into a high ticket offer. And, you know, you guys gave us a 50 K scripts within the first week or two. And for those watching that don't know what that is, uh, they gave us like a script that we can use to validate the new offer with our audience. Right. So I launched that to my Instagram and in one day I made $8,000 collected. <laughs> and so, yeah, in less than two weeks in your program, I made more money than I had made in an entire month ever in this business. And so it was like, just with the right packaging, we just created value and, and cash out of nowhere. It was, it was like magic, right? So that was one of the biggest things I will say. Uh, the second thing, it was a pretty big bottleneck. <laughs> so prior to working with you, I wasn't running ads. It was just like organic sales, right? And so once we launch ads, now I'm getting leads, I'm getting sales calls, but I wasn't closing, right? So <laughs> I like I, I wasn't a salesperson or anything. And so that was one of the biggest bottlenecks, right? So we got to work like any other skill. I actually had a lot of help. So you guys gave us a great framework to do the high ticket sales, uh, a lot of coaching. So I've left with leverage a lot of uh, Joe's time. Uh, I was there on every sales call every Wednesday. I submitted my calls for review and even Dominic, which is wild because this is the first time that I had this salesperson that took my credit card actually helped me. Uh, when he heard <laughs> that I was, you know, had a bottleneck with sales, he actually reached out 
Uh, he watched one of my sales recordings, you know, looked at my scripts. And um, just to give you a reference, I started at 10% close rate in the beginning. And this past month, I closed a close of 40% wow. with cold traffic. And that's people that don't know who I am, right? And so just all the support, all the coaching, all the feedback, I mean, it's been game changer. And I mean, from 10% to 40%, to me, I mean, that's better than I could have imagined for sure. And what was uh, what's the largest month you've done since you started working with us inside the business? Absolutely. So this past month, um, so I went from, you know, maybe making 5K in a month to this past month, I hit 45,000 in revenue, 25,000 wow. in cash collected. And I was looking at my Stripe and PayPal accounts this morning just to see how much money I've made since joining the program. And I have collected $100,000 in cash since I joined Scalable Systems. So all my Stripe accounts, you know how the, they show you the graph? Yeah. Uh, you can see very clearly before scaling with systems and after scaling. <laughs> it's like wow. flat line for a year, small bump here and there, and then boom, big spike. And then from there, it just goes bigger and bigger. Um, wow. So yeah, it's, it's been incredible for sure. That is awesome. What an awesome journey. Uh, and congrats, first of all, on the record month. And congrats on the growth so far. We might even have to make that the thumbnail of this video, just your Stripe account, just so yeah. the scaling yeah, yeah. system started here. Yeah. I, um, I want to kind of unpack some of that for some of the people that aren't listening here a little bit. Um, when you talked about optimizing your offer, you had mentioned that in a little bit, but one of the first things we'll do at Scaling with Systems is we come in and we look at your offer and we essentially try to figure out, uh, I call it the golden gap, but it's like, how do you take, if the marketplace sees something and it's worth, um, you know, $2,000 and you're charging $1,000, it's a 2X return on them, right? So how do you instead take something and make it worth, um, you know, $100,000 and then charge $10,000. And that way it's a 10 X return. And, and so we'll look at it and we'll optimize your offer so that you can provide as much value as possible, but also without having to work a whole, like, would you say, uh, for example, that you, when you increase the value of it and increase the price, you had to do a whole lot extra work, or was it just like much more leverage support elements that you had to add in that, that, that didn't increase your workload? Cause I'm sure some people might be like, Oh, if I go from this course, that's a thousand dollars to a high ticket, that's a few thousand dollars. I got to work 10 times more. Would you say that that was the case or no, not at all. Well, I, I, I did offer more, but that's because also I wasn't offering a whole lot <laughs> before. So <laughs> it was just a video course. Right. And to be fair, I will say, this is going to be weird to say, but I got my money's worth even just making the purchase into Scaling with Systems because from the moment I gave you my credit card to Dom, right? And I went through the sales call, the onboarding call, and I saw the way everything was structured. Like it just, I got to see what a real service business looks like and what a real company looks like that actually delivers what they promise. And so I immediately, like on my onboarding call, I wasn't taking notes on what you guys were saying. I was just taking notes on what to do in my business right so i immediately started implementing like the way you guys do the coaching calls the supports and so that alone was worth the cost of the mission because now i go into a sales call with way more confidence knowing that like i have a more reliable way of giving my clients results in a streamlined fashion that i know like if my competition doesn't work with you guys they don't have it right so i, I go in knowing that uh, you know what we have is a lot better and I just hadn't seen anything like that until I joined your program. It just, they just yeah. I just never seen anything like it. Yeah. It's funny. That's like one of the main things we hear. It's like, um, we kind of, you know, without trying to toot our horn too much here, but we kind of set like an industry standard of what it sh oh, yeah. an offer should look like, what a business should look like. And then uh, we hear that. I just literally saw it on a YouTube comment a second ago of someone that just joined uh, talking about our red zone requests. And he was like, yeah, you sent me a red zone request which is where I suit loom videos to people that are on like the one yard line. He said, I didn't join because you sent the, because you sent the red zone request. I joined because I was like, well, I want a system that uh, allows me to send videos like this to my people on the one yard line. So all the time we have people joining because they're like, yeah, I just want to copy what you guys have at our own, which obviously that's what we're here for. So I love that you guys have done it. We tested everything. Um, so we optimize the offer and just for people that are watching this, that don't know, we, what, that's the first thing we do. And then we have an offer refinement call where we get on a call with them and we go over the offer. We figure out how do we make this better? How can we add value without you having to work too much harder? And you, you went from a thousand dollars. What do you charge now for your, or for your offer? Well, I was charging 4,000 until okay. this past week that I increased my price to 5k and uh nice. first pitch that I made for 5k close. So, wow. Uh, All right. There you go. So yeah. from a thousand to four to five. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Increasing the prices on your own. I love that. So, uh, 
four to five X the amount of cash you're collecting from your clients. That's amazing as well. Um, and, and then the other thing you mentioned was the 50 K script, which was essentially something I created, but you know, once you go do all this work on the offer, it, then it takes kind of a while to know if the marketplace likes it, they don't like it, what's the deal with it. So we kind of write this asset. We write it for our clients that we then blast out to your audience, your Instagram, your email list, your YouTube, whatever else it is. And you get people in the door um, and you get deals closed. So you made, I think you said $8,000 more than you had in your entire month of your business previously, which has been pretty incredible. Yeah. To hear, honestly, uh, we've set up the marketing and ads uh, for you. After that, you started getting leads, you started getting calls. And then <clears throat> We have a bunch of videos where we talk about how we build the whole marketing systems for clients. So I'm not going to go too deep in that. I do want to talk about the sales a little bit more because um, that is something I hear more and more, especially coaches that like were doing a lot of warm traffic previously, and then they had to go kind of to cold traffic. Uh, and so you had mentioned like obviously working one-on-one -on -one with our team, having them. So we review clients' calls. So you have a form you can submit in. We'll review the calls, give them feedback in a Google uh, Doc form, Loom videos, et cetera, et cetera. And then you, uh, one of our values at our company is called client centricity. So we keep the client at the center of everything we do. And you had said that the guy who had closed you into scalable systems, he actually came in and helped you with your pitch and your, so he's not even part of the client success team, but that's like, yeah. that's just how we do things here, which um, I'm going to have to give Dom a shout out for that. That's pretty incredible. And going from 10%, to 40%, but just for people that are listening so they can kind of grab a piece of value out of this, what do you think was one like one or two of the main things that you had to transition, uh, you had to change from your pitch to be able to sell to colder people, to be able to take it from 10% to 40%? Great question. Uh, I'll say there's a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, I was in your, your mastermind this past uh, January, and you were talking about uh, the levels of sophistication in the market, right? So when you're in a blue ocean, like you could say anything and you're gonna get sales. Uh, but on a more saturated market, like I think everybody is in a saturated market these days, but day trading, it's like people have heard everything, right? And so that was very, very critical because uh, Dom also mentioned this. It's like, hey, like you need a, a, a new mechanism, right? Something that the market hasn't heard yet, kind of like the self-sustaining funnel. And so I created that. I wrote into the VSL and then that started to bring even more qualified people. Um, but then I also had to reward the structure of, of the pitch, right? Like I wasn't really digging into their pain. I wasn't really handling their objections too well. People just getting off the calls, uh, without a decision. And it was, uh, yeah, I thought it was good at sales, to be honest, prior to scaling kind of assistance, mm -hmm. because I was like closing 1k deals with warm audience, but it's, it's a completely different beast when you're talking to someone that doesn't know who you are, right? Uh, which with you guys now I'm working with, uh, you know, my YouTube channel and creating some more trust. And so, um, actually I got my first sell with a YouTube video. Like I, after, after watching you talk about this, I like created a YouTube video, posted it on YouTube, blasted it to my list and I got a sell from that. So I was like, wow, wow. Uh, that works. Um, I like but that. yeah, the unique mechanism is, has been, has been, uh, a great point for sure. Yeah, yeah I, I like that you mentioned that as well, because it's it's so funny. People always talk about like marketing or sales, like they kind of separate those two things out. But they're, they're really, especially in our industry, it's like really the same thing. It's like sales yeah. is just an extension of the marketing. Like that's a, you're that's just like the last 10% of the sales process is the actual sales call itself. And so they like treat them as two different departments, two different people. They don't ever collaborate. Um, and it's funny, just a few tweaks you had mentioned the unique mechanism. So just to break down a little bit of what um, you were saying, you had talked about the levels of sophistication. So I have a great video on my YouTube where I go more in depth on that. It's called uh, How I Made $5 Million in uh, Nine Months with Four Employees. But it talks about some offers. Um, they're, so, they're in a market where people aren't inundated with that, that like um, ads and marketing messages with that offer all the time. So you could come out there and show a photo of your armpit, get on a sales call and close deals, no problem, five, 10K deals. That's really what it was like for scaling systems when we first started, right, um, uh, four years ago. But as more and more people enter the marketplace, competition enters, then the buyers become more and more sophisticated. And they know they've heard the same offer, the same thing, day trading, uh, trading, uh, uh, marketing, sales, uh, setters, uh, they, uh, they hear it over and over again. 
And so as that market gets more sophisticated, you have to add in what's called unique mechanisms. Like, okay, they, it has to be something they've never heard of before. So it could still be the thing that you're currently doing, but you have to put a twist on it. So a great example would be ours, which is self-sustaining funnel. So I kind of took what we built with our marketing system. I figured out how do I put a name around it and make it into a system that no one's really doing or have heard about. Um, and we did that in January of this year. And it's been incredible because now people get on the call and they don't say, what do you guys do? They say, I want the self-sustaining funnel. And then if you try to go find and Google self-sustaining funnel and go talk to other people and try, oh, I'll just work with somebody else and have them install the self-sustaining funnel. It's impossible because I made the word up. So they can't, you can't do it with somebody else. You have to do it with me. Um, and so the fact that you built that in your business in order to uh, get people on the call that were more qualified. Amazing. The fact that you're doing YouTube videos and already made a sale is amazing. And uh, you mentioned the thing at the very end, which I would say is probably the number one thing when it comes to sales outside of marketing. It's like letting people kind of off the hook at the end of the call. Um, you know, you don't have to be salesy or pushy, but it's like you just handle, you just take objections at face value. Uh, you, it's a service mm -hmm. level and you go, oh, the person doesn't have money or, oh, it's not the right time. Instead of the, kind of digging into their pain points more, doing what we call tying down, which is like, oh, like, but you said earlier on that it was the right time and you wanted to do it. And, and now you just heard the price and now all of a sudden it's the wrong time. And it's uncomfortable. It's difficult to do, right? It's that, that's the awkwardness is like, you're, you're kind of challenging somebody. Um, but to your credit, like you said earlier, if, um, if you know what you have is the solution that they need, if you're really confident in the way that you're able to deliver results, then, uh, you should be able to be able to say, no, 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 stop trying to run away. Don't be scared. This is what you need. This is the accountability that you need here. Um, and it sounds like you've been crushing that. Um, final question I have for you on here is let's say someone's watching this video right now. Um, they've been watching some of my other YouTube videos for a while. Maybe this is on an ad. Uh, they've been seeing our stuff for a while. Like you, maybe they have written down on their thing that they want to work with us at some point, um, but they just don't know, right? They're kind of trying to make a decision. Maybe that's why they're watching this. What, what would you say to them? Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah. I mean, this is hands down the best program I have ever been in. I mean, I've spent a lot of money through the years in a lot of coaching courses, just about everything, uh, because I do believe that that's the best investment you can make. But I will I will tell you right now, no other program comes even close. Not not by a mile. And so if you're a coach, consultant, agency, and you're watching this, I mean, you're literally losing money by not joining this program. So uh, to me, it's a no-brainer. I mean, I made almost my investment back within two weeks after joining the program. I mean, I 10x my business. It, it's, it's wild. So the only reason I wouldn't join is if you don't like making money. If you don't like making money and scaling, don't buy it. Uh, but if you do, I mean, just don't even think about it. Yeah, it's a no brainer. Oh, that's a great answer. I appreciate you saying that. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you. We love working with you. We love you sharing the ring the bells. You're an inspiration to the other clients inside of there. And hopefully some people that are watching this video uh, and people that are watching this and maybe they want to learn a little bit more about you or check out your YouTube, stuff like that. What's the best place that people can find you? Yes. So if you want to reach out, uh, you can reach me on Instagram. It's my name, Helbert Ruiz, R-U-I-Z. My website is the Day Traders Blueprint. And if you Google my name, uh, you'll find me on YouTube. Uh, yep, yeah, on all social. Thank you, awesome. Robbie. Thank you, Hobart. Appreciate your time, sir.